Hi, I'm Jen Felice, Wegmans Corporate Nutritionist, and I'm here with my friend Gary today because I hear you have a couple questions for me on blood pressure. I do, Jen. Thanks. You know, I've been to see my doctor, and he does a bunch of different tests on me, but one of the things he does is wraps a cuff around my arm and checks my blood pressure. So I'm wondering, what's he really checking? What's the blood pressure all about? That's a great question. What he's measuring is the force that your heart uses to pump blood through your blood vessels. So think of a water hose. If it's clear and flexible, the water flows through really easily, right? right. But if it becomes clogged with gunk, like your arteries can with cholesterol, or if it gets really stiff from being left outside all winter, like our arteries can with age, then it gets harder for the water to go through there. So if that happens at home, what's the first thing you do? I would just turn the faucet open a little bit more, right? Right. And you increase the pressure so that the water will go through more easily, but sometimes you end up with bulges or leaks in the hose. Okay. So if you think back to your body, when you have clogged or hardened arteries, it doesn't only make it harder for your heart to pump the blood through your body, but you can actually restrict and even cut off the blood flow to places like your brain or your heart or other organs, and that's never a good idea. So if I want to make sure I don't have a heart attack or something, I just have to keep track of my blood pressure then, right? Well, your blood pressure is very important. You absolutely need to be on top of that. But there's a couple of other lifestyle factors that you also want to be aware of to be on top of your risk for heart disease and stroke. Things like smoking, being inactive, being overweight, they can dramatically increase your risks. So thankfully, these are lifestyle choices. So you can stack the deck in your favor to lower your risk greatly by eliminating those risks. Okay, so Jen, I go to my doctor and he checks my blood pressure, gives me one set of numbers. Then I come in here and I check it on this machine and I get an entirely different set of numbers. What's going on? Well, that's normal for all of us. Our blood pressure fluctuates throughout the day. But there are a few things that we can do that temporarily can make a pretty big impact on our blood pressure. So, for example, that big cup of coffee that you're drinking right there, um, it's not a good idea to check your blood pressure after you've had a lot of caffeine or maybe if you've had a disagreement with someone recently. So you want to get a resting blood pressure to get a more accurate picture of what your numbers are. Okay. Well, I guess I'm done with that. I've got some more shopping to do, so I think I'll walk around and lose some of that caffeine in my system before I check my blood pressure again. I think that's a great idea.